All right, the Prime Minister there addressing the nation just a short while ago. And our political editor, Kartike Sharma, is now joining us live for the latest on this. And Kartike, well, one of the big uh, banner headlines out of this is that the Prime Minister reassuring once again that, yes, there will be elections, there will be MLAs elected by the people of Jammu and Kashmir, there will be a cabinet, things will go back to normal. And also saying very categorically that opinion on this has been divided, but we are addressing it bit by bit. You know, uh, Barry, the uh, strength of the Prime Minister's speech uh, lies in the fact that he, it was not aggressive. He did not make it about national security. He did not make it about Pakistan. Uh, the strength of the Prime Minister's speech lies in the fact that he made it about people. He mentioned people living in Riyasi, Punch, Jain, Ken, various other parts of Jammu and Kashmir. It was about people's aspiration. He made it about ecotourism. He made it about industry. He made it about how people fondly remembered Kashmir in 70s and 60s. So the strength of the Prime Minister's speech, you know, if you say, well, let's compare it with Amit Shah's aggressiveness in uh, Lok Sabha and Rat Sabha, you would say, well, it's a little benign. But the fact is... Uh, he has underplayed the underpinned debate of 370 around the ideological uh, axis of Rashtriya Swam Sevak. And it is precisely this which comes out in his uh, roughly 40 minutes address to the nation, that he does not want to make it about uh, security issues, or he does not want to make it about the sort of uh, campaign which the government has launched in tackling corruption. He is making about empowering people. He is making about applying laws which empower people, for example, laws related to children, girls, education, Safai Kamchari, you know, the people who are involved in the sanitation department and sanitation has been one of the most key uh, focus areas of the Prime Minister, which, which we all know as Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, water supply, environment. So I would say that this, this, is, a, this is a very uh, well-thought strategy on part of Bharti Janata Party. And finally, uh, I would say, uh, enun uh, you know, enunciated by the Prime Minister, elucidated in a different way, uh, because he does not want to create an atmosphere where the issues of JNK are very aggressively dealt with. But yes, one thing is very important. He has given a hint uh, to the opposition parties, Mehravi, saying that public opinion and national interest must be respected. And I, I, and I think that's a very, very uh, suggestive uh, way in telling the opposition that, you know, the more you pursue this, the more problem, political problems you encounter on your way. Absolutely. And of course, Karthike, you also made the point that Article 370 and 35A had not given Jammu and Kashmir anything but separatism, corruption and family rule and of course terrorism, uh, touching upon the fact that leader after leader in the past uh, had uh, had this historic, uh, wanted this dream. This was the dream of Sardar Patel, of B.R. Ambedkar, Atal Bihari Vajpayee and we have fulfilled that dream uh, today by what we've done. It's been a hard decision but we've had to make this decision nonetheless. Absolutely. You see, uh, Bhairavi, if you, if you analyze the persona of Prime Minister Modi from 2012 onwards, uh, his speeches are aggressive, his persona is aggressive. Remember his uh, you know, performance uh, in the campaign in 2014 and 19. But that was not to be seen. And the question is why. I think Prime Minister wants to bring the temperature a notch down. He wants to uh, you know, give out the signal that, you know, well, things have happened, you know, decisions have been taken, you know, let's take... Uh, you know, one step at a time. He does not want to make it sort of a confrontational issue. So I think Prime Minister has taken right steps in his speech. You know, he could have given a very aggressive speech. He could have made this speech about us and them. Prime Minister has not done anything of that sort. I think it's a very statesman-like speech. And a lot of people would say that where is that element of uh, Narendra Modi in the speech, you know, when we say uh, polarizing or, or very aggressive. It's none of that. This flows from long discussions which have been held within the government, within RSS, that once this decision is taken, there will be no ideological debate on 370, there will be no ideological debate on 35AA, it will be about development, we will focus on people, we will not talk in context of that Jammu got this and the Valley didn't get this or Valley got this and the Jammu was not getting this. So in his speech he's trying to bring down the temperature one and I think for me the biggest takeaway is Prime Minister not being aggressive and directly linking 370 with development and people's aspiration. I think that's the biggest takeaway of uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi's speech. And mind right. you, it was not a long speech, Bhairavi. Right. All right, Kartike. Thanks very much indeed for joining us with the latest there.